Hi everyone, this video is going to demonstrate packaging your instruments for sterilization. So the instruments have already been cleaned. They've gone through the ultrasonic cleaner and they are free from bio burden. They've also been dried. Remember, we want to put dry instruments into our pouches and wraps and that will reduce the tearing or ripping of the paper. Select the appropriate size pouch for your instruments. If I'm only sterilizing a basic setup, I would use this pouch here. So be conservative with the size pouch you select. They come in a wide variety of sizes, very small ones if you're just sterilizing a few burrs, to larger packages so that you could slip an entire cassette into the pouch. So first thing is to select the appropriate size pouch. One thing to take note of on these pouches is they usually have pre-printed chemical indicators. Chemical indicators will change color throughout the sterilization process. So these pink indicators will turn brown in a steam sterilizer. This has both an external indicator on the edge here and it also has an internal indicator. This other package only has external indicators on the outside of the package. It's very important to always have an internal chemical indicator for every single package. If you don't have an internal indicator printed on your package, use one of these steam indicator strips this blue square will turn black when it's gone through a proper sterilization cycle. Now remember, these chemical indicators do not guarantee sterility. The only test that guarantees sterility is a biological indicator. The chemical indicators will tell you if your sterilizer got up to the appropriate temperature, and some of them also can test the pressurization and they gradually change throughout the sterilization process. Some will turn color as soon as it gets to the right temperature. But again, that does not guarantee that your sterilizer is killing microorganisms. It just says that it got up to the right temperature or the right pressure. When you're using these strips, make sure you put the date that you're running the instrument as well as the operator initials. That way, if there are any questions about the package or the process, you can refer back to the original operator. If you have internal indicators, we still need to put the date on the package as well as our initials. So I can write that on the paper side of the package. I'm just going to put my initials and the date somewhere on the paper side of the package. Use a pencil or a waterproof marker. Since this is going through a steam sterilizer, it needs to withstand that type of environment, that moist environment. So a regular ballpoint ink would run during that. You might not be able to read it. Easiest way to insert your instruments is to take your thumb and index finger and just move them in opposite directions and that will open up the plastic side. Don't open this side. This is when you're ready to take your sterile instruments out of the package. It already has an open end. And then carefully insert your instruments into the package. And I say carefully because many of your dental instruments are sharp. Don't vigorously shake the package. Some students that I teach when we're learning, they do this and they end up poking the instrument through the package. So never shake your package. There's no reason to and you could get that instrument through your finger if you were to do that. So no shaking the package. If you don't have an internal indicator, now is the time to slip your strip in. I do have an indicator, but I'll just put this in here for demonstration purposes. 
And the last part, a critical part, is to seal this properly. Peel off this part here and fold it exactly at that perforated line, that dotted line. If you don't fold it properly, you won't get a perfect seal. What's happening is the sticky part, part of it is on the plastic, part of it is on the paper behind the plastic cre to create a perfect seal. Now this is ready to go into the sterilizer. I'll show you what I mean by not creating a perfect seal. If I take this off, I'll waste a bag here, but it's a good demonstration. If I don't seal this perfectly at the dotted line, and I see this a lot of times in clinic, a lot of assistants just fold it over. What happens is it leaves the opening vulnerable. So I didn't really seal anything here. I closed it, but if you see my pencil slips right into that plastic. So don't do this. This is one of my pet peeves when it comes to sterilization. Fold exactly at the dotted line and you'll create a seal that actually closes the opening of your package. If you're working with items that are not stainless steel and you use a steam sterilizer, you run the risk of rust formation on your item. So these carbide burrs would rust in the sterilizer. We can use a rust inhibitor, which I have over here in this container. So what you do is, after these have gone through the ultrasonic, you rinse them and dried them, we dunk them in a rust inhibitor. So this is just getting a quick dunk, no time limit for this particular brand. Do not rinse this. The whole purpose of dunking it is to protect it from rusting. This would go into your pouch or a wrap, however you process your burrs. So the rust inhibitor should be used for any non-stainless item or hinged items like your forceps or your scissors that you use in your office. The next demonstration here is going to show you how to wrap a cassette. While a lot of offices use those pouches that I previously demonstrated, many also use wraps. With your wrapping, we're going to use two layers here, an inner layer and an outer layer. We place the wrap on the counter in a diamond pattern and we center the cassette right in the center here. Before I start wrapping, I need to put my chemical indicator inside the cassette. Cassettes are a great way to keep your instruments organized, so I have an amalgam set up here. It stays together through the sterilization process. So this whole cassette would go into your ultrasonic or your instrument washer. We still need to rinse and inspect when that's done. Make sure that the instruments came clean through that process. Then we let them dry. Remember, you don't want to wrap anything that's wet because your paper will tear. When you wrap these, you go from the bottom Make sure it's nice and snug. It's like wrapping a gift. Bring the right side up, then the left side. If you're good at wrapping gifts, you're probably going to be good at wrapping your instruments. If you're like me and you prefer those gift bags instead, you might struggle at first. But the important thing is to create nice, tight packaging. In the sterilization process, the steam
steam will cause this to loosen up a bit. So you want it as snug as possible. It's okay to go back and kind of reevaluate your corners. This wrap barely fits this cassette. I'm going to seal this flap with a small piece of autoclave tape just to keep the edges from popping up. What I have to do next is I flip this over. So that little piece of tape will help keep it together when you do the flip. Repeat the process. Bottoms up. Then the right side, then the left side. The office I worked in, we did not use wraps. We used pouches for everything. So you can see that's why I'm, I'm probably struggling a bit compared to the professional wrappers out there. Nice, tight corners. Take your autoclave tape and I run it down the seam. I know there are different ways to do it, but I like to run this down the seam. So I already have these pre-torn off the roll and ready to apply. What I like to do, just a little trick, I like to do is I prefer folding over one of the corners so when it comes time to opening the package when I'm ready to use it it's easier to open. So when it comes time to open this I can take these two flaps and just rip it up. Now I have one last thing to do here I have to indicate what's inside here, the date as well as my initials. So if there's a problem with the package, they can come to me and ask me questions about it. In here, it was an amalgam. The date and my initials. Again, use a pencil or a waterproof marker. When you look at your wrap, you should not have any exposed metal. This is some tape. I can just fold that over a little better. So when you look through the seams, you should not see the metal cassette. So this is ready to go into the sterilizer.